Hi, I'm Taylor Smurl. And I'm Tommy Smurl. And this is... Neat. Neat. Hey, it's the old Gooster here. Dad, I... I what? Why are you goofy? Well, you see, it's like this. This episode is about Nochino, which comes from Black Walnuts. We found Nochino, I found Nochino, in Columbus, Ohio. Ohio is a Buckeye state, which... Buckeyes are a nut, just like the Nochino black walnuts. So I thought I should look nuts to join in with Ohio. So you're goofy because you you want to look like goofy like nuts. Look like a bunch of nuts. Yeah. Okay. All right. There's a theme here. <laughs> We're drinking nuts from a nut state. Just nuts from a nutty state. All right. Just nuts there all around. Go. That's um, right. Well, I don't, I don't have to wear a goofy hat to be nuts. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm already there. I'm certifiable. So no worries on my costume. <laughs> well, gosh, the old gooster doesn't judge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, yeah. So uh, it, we talked about Nochino, which is, as dad mentioned, as, as, as Goofy mentioned, a black walnut liqueur. Uh, it's delicious. It's great for the holiday season, but also, I guess, also for the midsummer season. That's when it's historically associated. So how, whenever you want to drink it, uh, we're going to make some really awesome cocktails with it today. It's a year-round delight. Now, I had a hard time letting mine last until time to do this. I drank most of it. I had to hold off. I kept drinking it. I mean, same, same. Uh, so we're just going to get right into it. Uh, so one of the most common ways that people sub this in because you know it's one of the when you don't know how to use an ingredient one of the first things you should do is just sub it into something that you're familiar with and one of the most popular ways of working with this seems to be putting it into a manhattan style build so you're mixing it with uh whiskey a little bit of vermouth a little bit of chino simple uh that's where we're gonna start i'm gonna build this in a mixing glass and then strain this into a coupe all right all right, so we're gonna do uh, two dashes of Angostura bitters down there in the bottom. Bitters aboard. And then three quarter ounce each of our Nochino and also our sweet vermouth. And I will say- Nochino. Yes, as Nochino is, uh, this particular bottle of Nochino <laughs> we're using is, is from Ohio, but the recipe comes to us from Italy. Uh, using an Italian sweet vermouth makes a lot of sense here. I'm going to personally be using Antica, which is a tr uh, Trino style uh, vermouth. So, you know, if you want to use an Italian vermouth. Gallo. All right. So, three quarter ounce vermouth. And then lastly, an ounce and a half of rye. I got wild turkey. Oh. I got my old overholt. No, we couldn't find old overholt, so we went for wild turkey. What? Yeah, well, That's I found it before. Rye, yeah. I know, I found it many a time before, but for some reason, couldn't find it. You bought it all out. Maybe. Let's load up our mixing glass with ice and stir it up. Strain it into our you got a Nick and Nora, if you got a coop, whatever works, just something up and classy. Got a martini glass. Perfect. And for garnish, I'm going to use an orange peel. All right. Well, I will join you in that. And then Nochino makes this drink very dark. Yeah, you have to really love the, just the deep like dark quality that you get from putting Nochino to drink. It's literally mm -hmm. for as many Halloween parties that have worked where we try to figure out how to make a drink like jet black, just you can actually do it in a really delicious way with Nochino. So cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. That's, that's good. That is good. That's absurdly good. <laughs> No Cheeto. It's a good, man, it makes everything better. I love a Manhattan, but I mean, this, I don't know how else to describe this other than I feel like this fills in the blanks in a Manhattan. You get like those good kind of tannic resiny qualities from the vermouth. You get like the nice, mm -hmm. like rich spice from the rye, but that Nochino is just that sweet savoriness that just, it, 
it really completes the drink. I this is if you're a fan of Manhattans, if you're a fan of uh, whiskey drinks in general, uh, I think you would really love this. This is delicious. I like that orange garnish in there too, because you pick mm -hmm. up those notes in the scent when you drink yeah. it. Yeah, oh, that's dangerous. Nochino. I could drink that too fast. Yeah, it's a Nochino Manhattan. Yeah, they go down easy. It, that's it's what's weirdly... been happening on my Nochino. Yeah, it just goes down. I was this, it, it kind of tastes almost like a coffee drink, but it's not, which is which is wild yeah. to me. Like it has that sort of like a sweet coffee flavor to it. Mm-hmm. I agree. Hmm. Well, speaking of sweet coffee but not coffee flavors, uh, Dad, this next drink is your current fave, right? Oh yes, this is a Nochino Alexander. All right. Which, I, of course, I'd never heard of until we got Nochino, and I said, "How can I drink this marvelous beverage?" Of so, course, you, you found the recipe with cream in it. Well, I didn't know that. I just saw the picture of it, and it looked so good. I said, hmm, I need one of those. All right. So the way the recipe goes, two ounces of dark rum or spice drum, whichever you prefer. All right. Now, I'm going to shake mine. I understand that that's probably not uh, a professional bartender would not. If you want your, when it comes to uh, cream, I usually stir things. I don't shake them. But if you like things frothy, that's totally up to you. I'm not. That's what I, yeah, that's what I like is it gets it real good and frothy. Yeah. All right. Then we're going to have one ounce of the Nochino. Of course, gets good stuff. It's going to need more of this. I know. I'm about out. All right, three quarter ounce heavy cream. Got my vegan coconut cream. That's fine, right? Super legit. I will allow it. I will allow it. And now this is optional. The recipe I got it might make it too sweet for some people. But the recipe I got said one quarter ounce simple syrup. Mm. So while the Nochino is sweet, it doesn't make things super sweet. Right. So now, Dad, you want to shake yours. I'm going to stir mine. I like my, my creamy drink stirred, but... Okay. Pour mine in. Now, you can garnish with either nutmeg or cinnamon. I had cinnamon available, so I'm going to put couple of pinches right on top. Yep, I'm going to grate pinches. some nutmeg into mine. And that is a nice Christmassy looking drink. Mm. Smells amazing. Yeah, there you go. All right, cheers. Excited cheers. This. Oh, yeah. Mm. Chocolatey and coffee like. Very coffee like, yeah. You could just drink those down. It doesn't even taste like it has alcohol in it. And you got the rum and the Nochino. <laughs> Both have a lot of alcohol. I was going to say, it's, it's, yes, I, I think that, well, I also think like you, you meant, we, we were talking about coffee and there is no coffee in this, but I also now want to try this alongside like either some cold brew concentrate in there, you know, like a little, a little mm -hmm. ounce or, or some Kahlua alongside of it as a secondary sweetener. I think that this is very agreeable is like a brunch coffee style drink just yeah, want some well, caffeine the, in there <laughs> yeah well the italian coffee is made with the nochino mm. oh that's delicious it's very smooth Do yeah it doesn't taste like booze uh mm. also i will say the nochino and the rum i mean i i'm using uh appleton estate it's jamaican rum uh it's got a lot of those good kind of funky qualities and the nochino i think the earthiness once again is really playing well You've got that, uh, what is it? Myers, Jama Myers yeah. Jamaican rum. Yeah, mm -hmm. Paris, really, like a dark Jamaican rum seems to work really well with this, but uh, either way, yeah. either way, that's that's delightful. If, yeah, that's what it said, a dark rum or a spice drum. If you want a Christmas drink uh, to serve for the holidays that's not full of egg, <laughs> this is a great alternative. I, I yeah. made mine with a non-dairy replacement, but I, in either case, uh, much less work, much less fear of salmonella. Equally delicious. That is one good drink. You don't have to be nuts to drink this or goofy. Or you can be. They can't <laughs> oh, stop that's me. Right. 
<laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Dad. Thank you for uh, for bringing Nochino to the table. This is a delicious beverage. Thank you for Whoa. bringing it back from the wilds of Ohio. Uh, if you're yeah. in Ohio, you can you can literally go to this uh, distillery and buy this. Uh, but they also have a website where I believe they sell I, I bottles believe so. of it. Uh -huh. There are other Watershed. versions. Yeah. The Watershed Distillery, Columbus, Ohio. There are other Nochinos available uh, from all over the world, but uh, you know, if you're in the continental U.S., this is, this is probably within your reach. So check that out for sure. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Dad, for for being here. You big old nut. Well, thank you for having me, Gorsh. I was excited. <laughs> Uh, thank you all for joining us, uh, specifically the members of our Patreon, uh, you all the reason this gets made. Um, if you want to check that out, we have rewards, we got coasters and stickers and all sorts of fun stuff, so check that out. Uh, if you want to find us on our social media, uh, we are Neat Boozecast on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, if you want to email us, uh, you got questions, you got topics, suggestions, uh, hit us up at neattheboozecast at gmail.com. If you want to discuss your favorite N nutty beverage you can do that on the facebook page neat the booze cast group oh <laughs> we're right there there it is uh all right thanks again hey uh i've been taylor smurl i've been goofy uh, i mean tommy smurl <laughs> we've all been goofy uh <laughs> this has been neat. neat all right all right <laughs> not a single off-color nut joke in that whole episode, though. I gotta say, that's good.